And guys, all right, what is going on YouTube? Brothers, sisters, everyone. I have not made a YouTube video in a little bit of time, primarily being like a car chat, sit down podcast sort of vibe. So we are going to the gym. You guys know the deal. We are gonna hit legs today. I don't know if you can see the legs, but uh, yeah, what is up guys? How are you doing? Beautiful people. I have not talked to you guys in a little bit of time. Hopefully this composition looks good. We have the laugh mic. And uh, yeah, you guys are probably noticing, David, your hair is getting long. <laughs> That's why I actually have this hat right here because uh, yeah, it gets kind of messy right now. I would say we're about maybe even a couple weeks out from being able to tie it up. Maybe even, I might even be able to do it now. I think I'm going to get a haircut in about a week and I'm going to get him, my barber, Andy, to shave the sides. And then I want him to have like the honors of like tying it up. That's why I wear this every single day, this hair tie. It may sound, look kind of cheesy or whatever, but it's a reminder. You know, it's a constant reminder to David, stick to what you were doing, stick to what you said you were going to do, grow your hair, finish it, and uh, kill it. So, how are you guys doing? I don't really have too much of a, a topic per se right now to speak of to you guys. I kind of wanted to just update you guys. I kind of wanted to just check in, say hello, what's going on, and then through that, from that, as you guys know, naturally a topic will arise, as it usually does. So, a little life update. I finished the cut. I may look a little puffy right now because I finished it about um, a week ago. So I've been eating more calories, um, filling my body up back to about maintenance because I'm not planning on bulking. But when you first, uh, let's say you cut for around three, three and a half months, right? And then you finish to go back up to maintenance calories. Obviously, you're going to hold a bit of water because I'm eating quite a bit more food. And then after a few weeks, it kind of normalizes out. But I'm feeling very good, guys. I'm feeling very healthy, very strong powerful like my energy is through the roof again hence we're gonna go hit legs now strength's been going back up so i've been done the cut for about a week yeah about a week i finished about a week earlier than i wanted to i actually was gonna stop today september 1st but i finished about august it was about 10 days beforehand so august like 21st or something like that and that's just because you you, you got to listen to your body you know this can sound like a cop out but many times you know when i've when i've uh, done cuts or whatever set timelines I don't always finish right on that exact timeline. You know, it's kind of just a gauge, right? Just listen to your body. What you know when your body's done, you can feel it. And I felt it was done. At that point, like 10 days, like it would do more harm than good. And uh, yeah, these 10 days I've been refeeding back up. And man, I'm feeling fucking good, bro. September 1st, like it's back to crush it. We're back. We're back to make gains, guys. And kill it. And now David, I know we're talking about fitness here. David. If you're going to be making strength gains, what do you mean you're not bulking? Guys, my mentality going into this is I am lifting now to be fit, to be healthy. I'm not looking for this whole bolt cut cycle BS anymore. I'm staying nice and lean. I'm going to gain strength and just look good and be fit. That may sound very funny, but that's where my soul's at right now. I'm done bulking and cutting. So how you see me now, this body fat percentage, let's say I'm right around 10 or just under 10. I would say I'm around nine, nine and a half um, with the water weight gone. I'm holding a bit of water right now. Maybe, yeah, nine and a half. I plan on saying that pretty much the rest of my life. But continue to gain muscle. Anyways, enough of that. So, how are you guys? What is up? Let's talk about everything. Let's update. I hope this audio sounds good. Um, Adrian and I, how are Adrian and I, the girlfriend? We are doing well, guys. We're actually doing the best we've ever done. Um, ever and maybe that's what I'll talk about actually not uh, Adri per se but like why I just want to update you guys man I love you guys so much and I just want to update you with everything be as vulnerable and open as I can because I have nothing to hide you know uh, Adri and I guys have, have never been better and I'm going to explain why and how um, it's been so flow it's just been so flow like no forcing you know I said like hey hope you have a great day today uh, you know no expectations no no forcing you feel me hope you have a great day and um yeah a little heart face you know and then she's like yeah what are you doing and i said you know just casual day gym edits the works i said if you want to hang out later let me know right no no expectations no forcing no like manipulation just if you want to like i'm around like like come by you know hang out and she said oh you know i'm actually going to the gym hanging out with some friends today whenever and i and i was like oh like that's great like like i'm proud of you actually like you know hanging out with uh um, go go hang out, have a fun time. But that's because I had no expectations, and like, I'm, I, maybe I, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna go down this hole right now, but, but you know, the reason 
it's been get like I think I found the topic what we're going to speak about and it's not just with relationships it's with you as a being and then relationships is just one avenue or outlet from your being right and maybe we'll talk about that so relationships good let's just touch on everything before we go deep relationships good uh, so health relationships how is money and everything David how is you know career money so a few ways to touch on this one internally as far as business models plans uh, marketing at clarity what I'm doing it has never been better and I mean that and I honestly mean that guys maybe you can tell by my energy like I mean that groundedness um, with the courses coaching freelance work when I mean freelance I mean active works I, like I told you guys I'm not some freelancer that shoots fucking like, I'm not gonna go shoot your mom's bridal shower that I don't know because I need like no I'll shoot weddings and free I'll, active work Anyways, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling very focused. I'm feeling very, very clear, which as a content creator, man, if you can feel clear headed, focused, and you know what you're doing, man, that is the epitome of, of everything. Cause there's no formula. You guys need to understand this. Like being an entrepreneur, a creative entrepreneur, content creator, whatever you want to call it. There's no formula right? There's no system. No one's giving you a piece of paper saying you're going to do this, then this, then this. You're creating all this shit from scratch. So for you to feel grounded, it's amazing because everything falls from that. Now, external money, not so hot right now. Not so hot. Um, a few of you guys have, have purchased the courses, so thank you so much to that. But um, I'm still working on creating the content, the front end, right? The marketing, things like that, because it's not, it's not catching but you guys need to understand things don't catch immediately and, and, I, and I don't want them to and I don't care that they do because I'm not forcing them. When you know your product is good, you continue to promote it through natural organic means of, 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 of making videos like this or topics. I don't need you guys to, like I'm not here to say like, please buy this course. Like no dude, it will sell when it sells and that's what you, like this is with anything in life, like relationships, anything. If you know who you are as a person is good or your course or your product or your service, your freelance work, you're active. Stick to your guns, man. Stick to your guns. Continue to improve it. Show people how good you are and naturally things will uh, unfold and evolve and that's kind of where, that's the situation I'm in right now with active work. You know, I want to shoot tons of projects, guys, and I'm shooting some now and I, I actually have been. But I, believe it or not, I want to shoot weddings. I want to shoot um, really nice dope big commercials like I really want to shoot this stuff from a place of love because I know I can I know how sick I would make them I know how much value I would add but I'm not gonna force anyone to hire me does that make sense it will happen life God universe it will happen when it happens so all you have to make sure is that you're in check everything yourself is the best it can be and life will do its part right it's the same thing with courses coaching my business so my internal game I'm feeling so fucking good man my skill set has never been better with photo video creating content the wisdom everything it's never been better but um, you let God life do its part so that's kind of where I'm at now and I don't have a shed of doubt or worry I'm very confident in everything that will uh, that will happen so but that's just me being transparent to you guys like I'm not I don't have a thousand clients right now and I'm not you know snacking at this moment but it's at this moment. So that's that. We have health, relationships, career, slash money, meaning. Those are the four pillars of life. Money, meaning, which is the one I just spoke of because, you know, they're intertwined for me. Money, meaning, relationships, health. So relationships, health, never been better. Um, meaning has been amazing. Money, that's the one where it's like, not yet. Um, and that's very important, your money and your meaning because I could make a lot of money right now doing some quick shit that has no meaning to me. Does that make sense? I could have stuck with the fitness business, um, which some of you guys still commented about. I could have stuck with that, which would be fine. I would be, bro, I'd be living on my own by now. I would be fucking hell. But there's no meaning, not to me. And I mean, in fact, I don't know if I would because there's no meaning that will fuck up the money, right? So, or I could be working a part-time job here or doing this or doing that or shooting this. But the meaning is not there. And to me, meaning is the most important, right? I want to live my life. I don't care how much necessarily money I have growing up as long as I can survive as long as my meaning is there if I feel fulfilled and my meaning is there dude man I don't care if I live in a little condo my whole life or a little bungalow like I, I I can live very humbly that's what I'm saying I don't need all this fancy shit but ironically by living humbly and having your meaning on point you actually that's how you make all your money <laughs> that's how you make money it's all backwards 
you know, life, God, universe, or yourself. I mean, you know, you don't have to get spiritual or metaphysical in this. And by you being humble, by living out of purpose and meaning, service, that's actually how you make the most money. It's all backwards. By doing things that is not in alignment or true with you, you will at some point uh, fizzle out, die out. That's what, I knew that's what would have happened with the fitness, right? So, you know, I can say like, oh, I'd be making tons of money if I was still in fitness. And I, and I could have, but because the meaning was not there, I naturally would have quit. Or if I didn't quit, which I did, I would have fizzled out. I would have just lost passion, which I was, and I would not be making money because there would be no passion, there would be no service, there'd be no true alignment. So eventually it would die out. So I just decided, and I thank God I had the foresight beforehand to realize, yo, this shit's burning out. It was at its peak, man. Like I was having clients on clients, but I knew internally like, yo, this is not fulfilling. And I knew after each client, I was like, after each YouTube video, like I would try to, for- guys, and I want you to like know that like, I didn't just drop it cold turkey like because I had one bad day like no it was an accumulation of months of getting signals and signs for months my gut was telling me this for a long time for about like five to six months like each video it was feeling more and more forced each client was feeling more and more repetitive and I don't know anything wrong with the clients if I coach any of you guys you guys are beautiful and I know you can attest like I gave you the best fucking service ever that's not what it was about it was just no there was no fulfillment right and um, we're over here at the gym, so I'm gonna maybe maybe do another lap or I'll park. I kinda wanna drive still, to be honest. I'm gonna drive a little bit. Um, so it was fizzling out, fizzling out. And it took me like six months to realize that. And actually, man, it took, it's like, and I just want you guys to know that like, David, you're so irresponsible, you, you know, you're so entitled, you dropped it after one day because you had a bad day. No, man, it was a very long process. And it was actually only after the big moment. See, God or life or, or, or evolution, you know, whatever you want to call it, it gives you signals, Mother Nature, right? Mother Nature is a very harsh teacher. She doesn't really give a fuck how you feel. So I was getting signs to drop and to quit it. Life, evolution, right? And, oh, can I not? Oh, shit. So I was getting signs. It's funny enough. <laughs> Should I do it? No, I'm not going to do it because you guys are watching. I wouldn't do it otherwise. I wanted to get out here one time, so I was with a buddy, and I went up on this curb, and I just went out that way, as you can see right there. It, it, it's not that dangerous. Like, it was, it was a roll-up curb. I, that was years ago, though. I did that once, but I'm going to go the, same, the, the proper way. I wouldn't actually do that if you guys weren't here. I'm not that reckless anymore. I wasn't even a reckless kid. Um, what was I saying? Four, 13 minutes. Um, see, I love these chats, man. These are just soul chats that I can have with you guys. So... Yeah, evolution, mother nature, it's, it, it's a tricky teacher, okay? It doesn't really give a fuck how you feel. Like, life will do what life wants to do regardless if you feel like it or not. And if you don't, then you die off. That's, this is literally Darwinism. This is survival of the fittest. Like, like, think of animals. Like, I don't, mother nature, I don't give a fuck if you don't want to hunt today, motherfucker. If you don't hunt, you die. Like, it's not, oh, I'm not going to eat gazelles. Like, bro, you will die then. You know, that's mother nature. You evolve, you adapt, you get bigger, you get better, you get faster, or you die off, period. Humans, we are no different. You know, we think that we're so different. No, we're the exact fucking same. You adapt, you evolve, you get better in your skills, your crafts, your evolution, or you die off, period. This is how a lot of disease happens. This is how depression happens. This is how a lot of shit happens. And now, I know that may sound very touchy, and you know, I'm not gonna go down that path right now because that's not what this video is about. But um, I hope this is... This is all good. I guess I can tweak this in post. Um, that's a beautiful Jeep. I'm getting the... Oh, little little update too, guys. I'm, uh, I've am i switched. I've decided as of now. Because I know I've told you guys so much to get the two-door matte black Jeep Wrangler. Still getting a Jeep. That has not changed. But through evolution, I guess you could say, I'm now deciding or have decided to get a four-door Jeep. So the big boy... Uh, I don't think I'd get mad. I think I'm just going to get like the normal shiny, just a, a badass four-door Jeep Wrangler. David, why? You were so like keen about getting the, uh... where should I do a loop? How can I do a loop here? I guess I'll, yeah, I'll do it there. David, you were so keen on getting the uh, two-door. What happened? Signs, evolution, <laughs> my subconscious, man. I, uh, I guess subconsciously I want, I, there's a few signs. And this is kind of what I'm explaining. Life gives you about two to three punches. And the third punch is the big one. If you don't listen to that, you kind of die off, okay? So take this metaphorically with the Jeep. First off, I was with Adri, and Adri was always like, my girlfriend, she was like, David, you should get the four-door, like, fuck the two-door, get the four-door. And I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. She's like, I always see you in the four-door, the big boy. 
And I was like, ah, you know, and I would always kind of say, like, I don't need it, da 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 which I don't. But, I, but who knows, you might. So let that be. The second sign was my buddy Jesse. And this is when it, um, my mind was kind of like, whoa, because I always told him two-door, and he was always like, yeah, two-door. And then one day he was like, bro, we were driving. He was like, I've always seen you in a four-door. And I was like, what? I was like, you tell me that now? He was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, shit. And then from that, I decided, you know what? I actually do want the four-door. I just kept telling myself two-door. So, but that is the same thing with, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go straight. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. I love this area. Uh, we're getting like Pickering Village up here. It's so nice. I love Ajax area. It's so nice. Here and there. Anyways, so with the fitness thing, I was getting many signs. I was getting very many subtle signals. And maybe you, can, you guys can gain value from this with your passions. I was getting a lot of signals like, yo, stop, don't do this, it's not, it's not very fulfilling, try something more, something else, but I was like, no, fuck it, I'm going to keep going, so I would continue to force videos, and uh, it just didn't feel right, now, subconsciously, though, I was weaning away from it, so naturally, I was making more psychological videos, uh, like, spiritual, psychological stuff on my channel, but I was still holding on to fitness, right, and then the big deciding moments, and even after this, I still held on to it a little bit. But the big moment for me when I really decided like, yo, this is not my main channel anymore, fitness, it's not the main topic, was um, after my competition. And after my competition, I gained 30 pounds. Now, of course, you know, the majority of that was water weight, but that's because my hormones, and this is a very common symptom of, of competitors, Christian Guzman, I don't know if you guys watch this, uh, he gained exactly, it was, it was weird, it's like a mere reflection, he gained exactly 30 pounds after his, his competition. And he's now not doing competitions anymore. He just made a video saying, like, yeah, the summer shredding is done. Maybe he'll do it in the future, but, like, as of next year, he's not doing it because of how bad it is on your, your fucking body. I gained 30 pounds. And um, I remember vividly looking at myself in the mirror one day. 30 pounds. Guys, you need to understand, I was dieting for, like, over three months to get down to about 165. And within a matter of a fucking week, maybe two weeks tops, 165 to 195. And that was because, yes, my calories were higher, but like your body, guys, when your hormones are fucked and you've been uh, in a very like fight or flight state for a long time, when you do gain food or grab food, your body stores it, bro. I was holding so, oh man. Anyways, 30 pounds in about two weeks. And I remember looking at myself and keep in mind, I started the cut at 185. So I went from about 185 to 165. I was the heaviest I'd ever been in my entire fucking life. I was 195. I'd never been in the 190s my entire life. The heaviest I'd been was 185. This is a few few years back, right? And I was like, what the hell, man? Like, I just competed. In two weeks, I'm the heaviest I've ever been? I, I was dumbfounded. I was, and I remember Christian, like, and tons of guys, they, I remember seeing his, his reaction on his, his scale. He was like 200 pounds, and he was like, he was like, no. He was in disbelief. He was like, and this, that was literally me. He was like, I've never been 200 pounds my entire life. And like, that was me with 195. I was like, I'd never, like, no, something's wrong. And that's how it was. So of course the weight, you know, it went away gradually over the next course of a couple months or weeks or whatever. But that moment when I looked at myself in the mirror and I saw 195 and I looked and like how much water I was holding, how bloated I looked, I knew then and there, I was like, yo, this is not the lifestyle I want. Like, I do not want to be a physical slave to my labor, to how I look, and like I, my, like, I don't want my soul and my income to be dictated solely of how I look, right? Now, of course, that doesn't mean I have to keep competing, but my means of income and, and, and value was through fitness was how I looked, and this isn't to bash any of you guys if you're doing it, <gasps> but I didn't want that. I was like, yo, fuck it. Like, if how I look, I have to like manipulate how I look to make money or value to you guys, how like I have to do shit, I have to like torture myself to my body to make other people happy, fuck that, I was like, I, I don't want this shit, so that's when I knew, I was like, yo, I'm done, and I started uh, letting go, and photography, video, creativity, all this shit started to come in, all right, there's a big gap, which I'm not going to speak of there, but anyways, I'm here now, I've, I've let go, I've fully let go, I've trusted, I've accepted, and man, holy fuck, I take it for granted, I am so fucking happy now, I am so fucking, fucking, fucking happy, I am so happy, I am so fulfilled, I am so happy, this is the best fucking life I ever thought I could have, yet you know what's so ironic and funny, I have like close to no external things, on paper, but my soul, dude, my wisdom, my clarity, my ability, my fulfillment, how I can help people, the business, Everything, how I feel, how like my means, my, the meaning, like I've told you guys, relationship, health, like I've never felt fucking better, man. 
And I'm so happy. And it's like, I take it for granted. That's why I don't say this too much because it's like, I've been doing it for a while. But like, I think that's another topic I want to speak to you guys about. These past few weeks, man, these past months, although on paper, like externally, I don't have a lot of income. I'm surviving, you know, guys, I don't want you to think like I'm dying out here. Like I'm surviving. I still had a bit of reserves from freelance work or, uh, or things like that. Uh, my grandparents, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like, I, I'm completely fucking honest. My grandparents actually gave me a check for $2,000 because they're, they, they gave it to everyone, all of their siblings or their grandchildren. Cause you know, they're moving to a retirement home. So, so that helped a ton. Like life's always got your back where I would be getting checks from things like, um, you know, 300 bucks here, 80 bucks here, I guess tax returns or whatever, or a little gig here or, um, save my, like just, I've been surviving, you know, and, uh, and keep in mind, I'm still living at my mom's house. I don't have to pay for food or, or hydro or things like that. So I'm milking that. I am milking that as you guys should too. If you were living at home, milk it, holy shit, milk it right now. Start creating the shit you want to do. If you don't have to worry about kids and this and this and, uh, electric right now, like, holy shit. Maybe your parents won't be the most proud of you. Who cares? Who gives a fuck, man? Do it right now. You'll pay them back later. It doesn't matter. Anyways, what was I saying? I know how much these talks will help you guys too, man. Like, I see what I mean? Like, I am so fulfilled by saying, like, I know how much this will help you guys. And I know that because I know how much this would have helped me six months ago or a year ago or two years ago. So I feel so fulfilled and so happy being able to do this. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, like I was saying. So although externally, you know, on paper, things would have seemed not so good right now, man, I mean it, man, like I've never woken up with so much peace these past couple months, past couple weeks, you know, it's really when my cut finished and maybe that's because of food and everything, but dude, I've like never been happier and more grounded in that peace now than I have my entire life. And and that's why things, and this is, see, I fucking love it. I love, I love the way I speak too. It's a humble brag. A lot of people may not like it because I speak in circles but I speak in circles because it all comes full circle at the end of the day. See what I'm saying? Now I'm touching back to, it's how I think. This is how my brain thinks, by the way. It's very, it's very, what would they call that? Right brain orientated, right brain orientated, your creative brain, which is very like a graph. It's like a picture. It's like this to this, to this, to this, to this, and they all link. It's like a spider web. And it's all like that. That's how I think. Okay. Otherwise I like, I can't think step by step. This is why they say I'm, you know, whether you want to believe it or not, you know, because they're controversial studies, people who are left-handed are very creative because apparently, you know, I'm not a neuro, neuroscientist, but apparently the left side of your body controls your right brain and your right brain controls your right side of your brain controls your left side, left brain, this. So I use left side, therefore it's controlled by my right brain, which is the creative brain, which is the very, I don't know if there's, I, I believe there's some science towards that. I mean, I've read studies on that, but then I've also read other studies saying like, ah, oh, no. So if you guys are neuroscientists, you know, let me know. Um, I'm now going back to the gym. David, that's so bad on gas. Why would you do that? It's not the best. You're right. And I am pretty conscientious of uh, my energy, which I think you guys know. Maybe you don't know. But um, sometimes, man, for the soul, you just got to go for a fucking drive. And this feels really fucking good for my soul right now. So fuck it. You know, pick your poison. Um, maybe that doesn't sound too good. Anyways, though, what was I saying? I've been feeling the best I ever have as far as peace and internal wise. And maybe that's why, well, that is why, you know, my relationships or my health, like, like everything stems from who you are. My relationship has been at its absolute best with Adrian because of my internal peace, right? I don't have to force anything before with Adrian. I'd maybe have to force things. I'd maybe use some manipulation, which, which I'm obviously not proud of saying we all do it or, or not even so much manipulation, but just being sour, right? Like, oh, you can't hang out. Like why you think your friends are da 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 da. Like that's not the best, like things like that, you know, get jealous or insecure, right? Which we all do. I have no problem saying that. Um, even if it's subtle, right? I'm not saying it was massive, but if it was subtle, um, where now there's, there's really none of that and, and she can feel it. Like there's no, there's no rush. Like if we don't hang out for X amount of time, you're hang- like, it's okay, man. That's all right. And I, and I, and I believe that's because of the peace I feel internally with like, I just feel so in alignment with what I'm doing that I'm so happy, like doing the work I do, whether that's podcasts or working on the business or, or doing my, my active work with photo and video, like just everything feels so fucking in a line that like, I almost don't need external things or any addiction or stimulus, you know, whether it is sex or, or going out to clubs or bars or playing video games, whatever it is, we're all, we all get addicted to different things. 
man, when you when you become in alignment with who you are, which is not easy, and I know I'm gonna become, I know I'm going to be out of alignment again, because this is how we work, which I tell you guys. So don't get attached. I'm not attached to how I'm feeling now. I know shit will be distraught and you know in the future. That's just how life works. But if you can aim to be in alignment, because you become distraught to then go back in alignment. So if you can aim to be in alignment, dude, holy, if you can live from your heart and be in alignment, yo, yo, dude, you're in heaven on earth, bro. Holy crap, dude. Like, I, I want you guys to feel this feeling that I'm feeling now. Like, I want everyone to feel this. And maybe you're going to say, well, David, that's entitlement because you don't have all these responsibilities per se yet. Maybe you're right. I don't have kids. I don't have. So maybe that is what it is. But I don't think so. Because I've lit... You know, I'm pretty, anyways, different topic for a different day. So, I've also been seeing the number 4-4 four, four a lot lately, which is, I don't know if any of you guys are into numerology or not, but that's a very tan, to me at least, that number. 4-4, four, four, to me, it, it, it means, you know, it's different for everyone else, but signs, right? 4-4 four, four is a very tangible external number, right? Because if you think of a square, there are four sides to a square, right? To complete the square, the circle, ba 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 ba. right? There are four years in college, there are four years in university, there are four years in high school. Four years till you're done. Everything is in fours, right? Ba, 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 ba. Four is tangible. It's external. It's like complete the circle. That's what it means to me, at least. It doesn't have to. You don't, you don't have to believe any of this. I'm not saying this is like factual, by the way. I'm just saying this is just, when I see that number, that's how it makes me feel. It's kind of like if you see the, the color yellow, it's going to make you feel different than it'll make me feel. It's not, it's not factual. I'm not saying yellow is this. I'm just saying like it, it, symbols, right? Um, so yeah, guys, where are we? Yeah, we're at about 27 minutes. Maybe we'll hit around 35 or so. Because this is a podcast, so I'm going to put this on the Force Talks app. I, I guess to finish it off, because... Dude, are you fucking going? I didn't want to honk because, like, I didn't know if there were people in front of him. No, it was definitely this guy, because now he's skirting away. You guys know those? When, like, a person doesn't know it's green, and then, like, you honk or something. Which is not their fault, because obviously I've done that. And they just yeet. They just skirt off. They're so embarrassed. It's so funny. He was just eating. <laughs> That's all right. Much love to everyone, bro. I, we all do that, bro. I do that so many times. It's okay. So when you honk, give a little, like, that's why I didn't want to honk. But if you do honk, a little tip. Hey, he's going to the gym too this way. I'll go a different way so I don't make him feel weird because he's already embarrassed enough. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll hit legs with him. <laughs> maybe I'll see him. And that's also why you don't honk. See, there you go. It all comes full circle. If I honk, that could have fucked up his day. And then I see him at the gym. And he could have got mad at me or had a bad workout. Right? So just try to be loving to people. Because, like, he just made a mistake. It's not his fault. He just didn't, he just didn't see. Um, to finish it off to you guys. Whoa. I, uh, the reason I believe, you know, the relationships, like I quoted in the beginning, are, is going so well or this or that. Is simply because of the internal peace and alignment that I'm feeling now right with 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 everything guys and now i want to make this clear feeling in alignment does not mean you have to have all these external things it doesn't mean you have to be shredded or have to have you know a six pack and all these girls and all this money and all these fancy cars no that is not what it means and i'm a clear example of that you don't need all that stuff if you live from your heart and you do what makes you feel happy and right and just and true to you regardless of external things regardless of not everyone agreeing with it that is heaven on earth that is the kingdom within you know and you can relate this to any religion or philosophy you want like this is what they preach guys they say the kingdom within bro you know it's true bro that's what i'm trying to tell you guys it's true if you do what what your heart's telling you to do you're gonna be okay is it gonna be easy fuck no dude Dude, this has been the hardest seven years of my entire fucking life. And I don't even, I don't even tell you guys my struggles. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to say that yet. I'll tell you guys eventually. Because there's no need, I don't, there's no need to. But man, has it ever been fucking good? It's been a ride I'll never forget. And I'm so thankful for it, man. You know, I could die fucking today. I wouldn't want to because I know I still have a lot to accomplish. But like my soul, like... I wouldn't be super... No, nah, actually, I'd be pretty pissed. I'm not, I take that back. I don't want to die today. Like, I got a lot of shit to accomplish. I got a lot of shit to do, so... So, fuck that. I ain't dying. <laughs> Life won't let me. I got a lot of shit to do. But you get what I'm saying, like, metaphorically. Like, I could because I'm, like, my soul. Like, I feel good. I feel pretty fucking good. I post, like, being miserable, and then if you die, it's like, you realize all the regrets. Like, I don't have any regrets. It's kind of what I'm saying. But I know I still have a lot to accomplish. Live from your heart, guys. Live from your heart. 
go through challenges through your heart and you'll be okay. It won't be easy, but you'll be okay. And if you can try to live through your heart the most you can, everything else externally will be amazing. Relationships will be at its best. Money will, and that's why I'm not worried about any of these things externally. Cars, money, this, that, women, whatever makes you tick, being shredded, all that shit comes from you living internally through your heart, right? Life almost congratulates you. It's like, aha, you've done it. There you go. Here are your fruits, you know? And I guarantee you, you will get, ironically, tons more fruits through living internally than you will try to live externally. If you try to live externally like me being in a fitness thing or chasing women or chasing money or, or trying to seek all this validation from other people through external things, that's actually the fastest way for it to disappear for you to not have it because you're coming from a state of lack, right? To chase something or to, to need something is to show life or showing yourself you don't currently have it, right? I don't need anything. I don't, I don't need you guys to buy the courses or I don't need this car. I don't need to be shredded. I would like to, but I know it'll come because that's who I am internally. That's my soul. Even if I don't externally have it right now, I may not be shredded or, 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 well, I'm pretty lean now, but like as an example, I may not be uh, shredded or have this or this or this externally. But if I know that's who I am and I can have that internally, then it comes. And I'm going to show you guys. That's why I'm documenting all this stuff. So I'm getting a little, I might get a call. I'm a little tired now. I give so much energy and passion to you guys. Like, I feel it, man. I got, I'm tired. I'm hitting legs now, too. Shit. If I had a pre work you know, I think I'm going <laughs> to... Don't always get this. I think I'm going to get a monster energy. Because I don't want coffee. I just had a coffee. I want something sweet. I should have brought a pre-workout. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a monster energy drink. A zero calorie. The white one. Do you guys know that? Christian and them always get the white monster energy. <laughs> it's so good. It's a little pricey, but I think it's like three bucks or so, but three fifty, Whatever. I'm going to go get that and then go to the gym, hit legs, and then go home and crank some stuff. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, I love you all. I hope this turned out good because it doesn't have a flippy screen. I can't really see how I look, the GoPro. And I will talk to you guys soon, so keep crushing it. Keep living in faith, but I don't want to say in faith. Just trust yourself. Just trust life, man. You got this, all right? Follow it out. Continue the process. It's going to make sense soon for us both. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to kill it. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I will finish it here with uh, the creator course, guys. Some of you guys have downloaded the free creator course intro. You guys have actually purchased the internal and external as well. And you're loving it. But for you guys, go get yourself the free intern. I'm tired. Go get yourself the free creator course intro. It's the first link down below, guys. It is a free half an hour online university style course, which explains things just like this, but what I call the four areas of growth. So internal. Wow, I'm getting tired. Personal, craft, relationship, and world. If you guys like these talks, check out that online course. It'll explain what I speak of here, but in a nice step-by-step -step formula, tangible, four area of growth uh, step. And uh, you guys will understand. Like, it explains it much more here. I'm not going to explain it all here. Check it out, four areas of growth. And then if you are interested, guys, there are two other courses, the internal and the external and creator course, which um, are double. They're over an hour each. They're massive. They have so much value and information in them. So check it out. Link down below, guys. And uh, you guys will love it. And uh, yeah, it's free. No gimmicks. Check it out. It's half an hour. And I'll talk to you guys then. All right, so much love. Thank you guys. Subscribe, like, share. Send it with a homie. And uh, we'll talk soon. Much love. Thanks, guys. Peace.